So today, we're playing the Berserker, and we may have an interesting build involving the Spike Staff, Deerwood Guardian, and a couple of mana thirsts. The longer we get that healing and mana skill. But we'll see. Right now, we have a pretty crazy amount of power. We are going to get in the flame. Up. They are going to be stacking up a lot of heat here. But so far, but hey, check this run out and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump to some ranked games with the Berserker here and see just what I can do. Killing herbs on sale are definitely, definitely take. Banana 2. Let's roll. Definitely, definitely want that wooden sword. I'm going to take the whetstone too. That's going to be around one. A little bit of damage here. A little bit of healing. And also a little bit more healing here. But we'll see. Can we outpace this ranger? They're going to have a good bit of DPS with the frying pan sword. Except they don't have any sustain. So it should be in our favor here. Awesome. Really, really fantastic here. Now I'm going to be taking this broom. Definitely want to get a second weapon here. So we're going to be changing our setup to be more like this. I'm going to take this little bit of storage for this round. I'm going to save our gold instead of rolling here. I'm going to move straight on. And we are going to begin another Berserker here. They do have a broom, they have a walrus tusk. They have two garlics and they have the amulet of feasting here. So their food items are going to trigger a little bit faster here. But we'll see, can we outpace them here? They're going to have a little bit more damage mitigation than us, but we should have a little bit more healing than them. But they do have that spikes here. Which is going to be super unfortunate here. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Especially adding in our hammer. Three weapons here. It's just going to be a lot of damage back to ourselves here. This round, I'm going to be taking a big old banana for right now. Did you want to roll? Okay, we've got a hunger blade here, which I'm going to definitely, definitely take. We're going to say goodbye to the wooden sword. We're going to keep her set up this way for right now. And we're going to roll on like this. Now this should be good. I'm actually going to leave out our forging hammer here. Just in case we come across anybody with shields or spikes here. Which should be pretty good. We should be able to get some vampirism. We should be able to keep ourselves alive. And we should be able to smash down this other berserker. Awesome here. We definitely, definitely got lucky with the hunger blade here. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take another whetstone. I do want to roll here. Now we could just go up a turn here. But honestly, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to take the storage. I'm going to add in our hunger blade in this position for right now. And I do want to reserve this leather armor. But we're going to take this healing herbs too. But with that, actually, let's buy the stone before I move on. And yeah, we're going to continue on like this. I'm looking pretty good here. Just increasing the damage here. We have a lot of flat damage. A little bit of healing. One garlic here can remove our vampires, which is not super, super great. But we'll see. Our opponent will have their shell totem. They're going to be able to get some life back and stack in the power. Which could be problematic here. But as long as we keep inflicting blinds, we have the damage mitigation from Battle Rage. We should potentially be able to pull ahead here. Awesome. Really, really fantastic. So with that, we're going to be taking our healing herbs and we're going to be taking our armor for this round. I do want to roll here. Smashing. Awesome. We're definitely going for a magic staff type build. We do also want the blue brace. That should be pretty good here. We're going to have to run with our setup like this for right now. Crafting up that Dragon Sclammer. We're going to have to wait around to get a Man Orb and Blue Brace here. It's unfortunate, it is what it is, but Dragon Sclammer should be really awesome for us here. Now this bone's looking super, super scary. With that shovel, shall totem in the Relic Case here. Sam is going to get less and less. We're going to be flicking up blind on us, but we do have that Leather Armor to resist three blind here. They have a ton of regen. They also have a Health Pot here. So they are going to basically just try out survivors here. But can we survive? We do have damage mitigation and battle rage and vampirism. It's going to be super close. But unfortunately, just not enough here. Our opponent just had way, way too much healing here. So we're going to be crafting up magic stuff here. We're going to be selling this one whetstone. We're going to be taking this little bit of storage here. Cellar stone. Take a blue brace. With that, we're going to be moving on. And we did lose a little bit of damage here. We're at risk of losing this round specifically because we just added in a mana orb, added in an extra banana. That's all we really, really did get here. But we'll see. We are going to be getting a pyro. They do have a good bit of damage here with the Molten Dagger, Hero Sword, Prime Pan. What's well, not looking too bad here? Smashing even. Pretty darn good. Okay, we got ourselves a magic staff. Now we could take the target container. It is on sale for six. It is scaling vampirism. But I actually don't think I'm not 
going to take it here. Which might be madness. But I'm not going to take it. I'd love to get as much mana as possible. But our stamina might not be able to handle it here. So I'm going to have to let go of this for right now. I do want to go for a spiked staff mana curse build today. That's also some a cheese, which is going to be pretty darn good. That's also another dragon scammer, which is going to make us immortal. Jorn Battle Ridge. I'm going to take the letter armor for right now, and I do want to get two dragon scammers here. Doesn't mean I'm going to be selling this for right now. And I think at this point, I'm actually going to be super greedy and take a customer card. And we're going to move on, actually. Let's move our blueberries in. We're going to move on with this setup for right now. We should be holy shell totem here. That's a lot of shell totems. Our opponent is going to have four empowers straight off the bat. And with that armor, they're going to actually going to have that nine empowers. So those daggers are going to be dealing massive damage here. Crazy damage. We do have a lot of damage mitigation. They also have damage mitigation too. And so far, smashing. Holy moly, that was insane. That was for sure here. I did want to go Jared Guardian, so we are going to be taking that here. We're going to be taking this cheese. We're going to be taking tiny little storage. We're going to be rolling here. And we're going to be selling our custom card to roll again. A little bit of a waste of money buying that custom card, but it is what it is. Be back in a second while I sort our inventory out. So right now our setup is going to be something like this. With our Dewood Guardian in this position. Getting as much triggers as we possibly can while still having our armors, our hunger blade and our magic staff in. And that should be pretty decent for right now. We're going to be taking our letter bag next round. And we'll see. We definitely, definitely want to get a spiked staff here. Because then we're going to be scaling up in power. Which is going to increase the damage of all our weapons here. But this double axe is doing massive, massive damage. With these two dragon skull armors here. We're going to heal back to full. However, battle rage doesn't last forever. And it could be quite scary once the battle rage ends. But it did allow us enough time to scale up here. So it should be awesome for us. Now let's take our letter bag. I'm going to roll here. I'm going to roll again. And I'm going to roll again. Smashing. This is really, really fantastic here. Also, crazy, crazy good here. I'm going to sell our banana, our forge camera. We're going to be taking our spike color. And we are going to be taking this too. Now we're going to have to move this out. So we can actually add this in. I'm going to be crabbing this up too. We're also going to be taking this big old blueberries. And now once we see another hunger blade. We're definitely, definitely going to be taking here. We'll see. Should be a lot better right now. Well, after this round. We just have to get through this round. Now our opponent is rocking Nocturnal Locklifter. With a shovel and a shell totem. We're going to have a ton of healing here. We also have the Magic Torch for that scaling damage. Honestly, this could actually be problematic because... They're going to have a ton of healing here. However, we do have scaling damage. But it's not going to be enough here, unfortunately. Our opponent just managed to outpace this here, but quite a bit. So with that, we got our spike staff, we got our monitors. That's going to be really, really fantastic for us. I do also want to take this eye lamp. So for this round, I'm going to be taking this funny pack. And we're going to be taking this eye lamp. We're going to take these blueberries. And we're going to roll once here, looking for a bit of storage. But unfortunately, that's all we can really do right now. We should be a lot better with this whole setup. But we'll see. We are going to begin. Ranger. With a bone arrow, with the steel goberts, once they craft up that fortune with grace, we could have been in a lot of trouble here. We should be a lot stronger, we should be able to scale up that power and smash and damage here. Actually, fantastic here. Now, we do want to take this funny back, I do want to roll. That's more cheese, that's a recombobulator, we can change our whole setup if we do want to. Well, we don't exactly want to. We'll take the stamina sack, a lot of storage we're buying. Not a lot of items here. Okay, we could take good old Wuppertinger. And we could also take this too. Okay, so we're going to keep our setup like this for right now. We do have our eye lamp down here. With our spike staff to be scaling up that accuracy. So we're guaranteed to hit with our spike staff. We did opt to move our monitors into our duffel bag. Which should be pretty darn good for right now. Now we can switch this over to this side. This is probably going to be better for us. That is for sure. We can also switch this here. A little bit better. And yeah, we're going to roll with this. We're going to be getting, we're going to be getting our Wubbersinger and storage next round. And then we're going to probably get... Our cap discomfort here to prevent a lot of healing. There's a lot of builds that are going for healing in the latest patch here. We'll see, we're going to begin Cursed Dagger. They're going to be crafting up the Dark Saber here. So it's kind of lucky that they don't exactly have the Dark Saber as for right now. But they are going to be dealing a lot of damage, inflicting a lot of debuffs on us. But smashing here. 
That is a lot of empower for us. Now we do have 14 gold, we could literally just craft this up. Honestly, I think we're going to be crafting this up instead. I think getting this online is going to be super, super more beneficial than taking good old Whooper Tinker for right now. Because we just want to reduce our points healing here by quite a bit. But we'll see. We are going to begin a chain up, which is going to have a lot of healing as well. We're also going to be removing our buffs, which is going to be problematic because we are super dependent on our empower here. That is for sure. So removing our empower, removing our spikes is going to be super, super bad for us. But so far, it's really, really awesome here. Okay, so we're going to take our storage. We're going to take our whoop tinger. I'm going to slot it in here for now. Then we could also make the pivot, go for a Buster Blade, Spike Staff. However, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be rolled here. And I'm going to continue to roll here. Okay. Spike Callers are definitely, definitely a monster. I do want to roll once more, and that's all we are going to do. That's all we're going to do. Now, we could take the Pineapple for stacking more Spikes, but I'm not going to be taking it. Just want to find more Hunger Blades. I do want to find Prismatic Orbs as well. Prismatic Orbs are going to be really... Really fantastic because it is going to allow us to scale up our power super early here. But we'll see. We are going to begin a Serpent a Staff Poison Ivy. They're going to be inflicting a lot of poison. And so far, they're dealing a lot of damage. But it's going to be super close and just barely pull ahead. Really, really awesome here. Okay, so taking a spike color. I'm going to be taking more storage here. I'm going to be rolling. And we could take another Corrupted Crystal here to potentially. Get another Capitalist Comfort Online. However, I'm going to roll again. I'm going to move our armor set down here so we can actually add in some blueberries. And with that, I'm going to continue to roll. Mana Orb is definitely, definitely going to be too good not to take here. Basically, we just want to be stacking as much mana as possible. And also, we do want to craft up another Mana Torch here, potentially. Now, I know that we did pass on Hunger Blade, but we just couldn't fit it in at the time. But we'll see. Holy moly, this opponent is dealing a lot of damage. They're inflicting a lot of cold on us. They're going to be getting those big crits here. But it's going to be close. Can we just barely scrape by? And unfortunately, just fall a bit short here. We're down to a fine life. We're going to be taking our mana orb though. And I do want to roll here. We could take another eye lamp here. I'm going to continue to roll. We could end up taking more blueberries. Not going to as of right now. I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going to waste a lot of gold here. Unfortunately, we're not finding much of the items I do want to find. I do want to find prismatic orbs, mana orbs, hunger blades. So we kind of have to roll on. Let's just take our spike color for now. And continue on. Is this going to be enough here? Unfortunately, this could be the end of us here because this is going to be taking a lot of robust. Actually, they don't have misfortune or they don't have Mr. Struggles here. It might not be too bad. They are going to be scaling up a ton of vampirism. We do have to break through the armor. They are going to get that invulnerability too with that glowing crown. But after that, we should be in a much, much better position here. Smashing now. If they did remove our buffs here, we would have been in a lot of trouble. But awesome. We did manage to survive with one life left here. Now, we probably should take our points here and run, but let's go and see if we can actually make this even more crazy. Okay, speaking of making it more crazy, we're straight up going to be taking Hunger Blade. Getting that mana torch, that's going to be really, really, really fantastic for us. And with that, I'm going to roll here. And we could also take the bird. The bird could make our whole setup here move faster. So with that, I'm actually going to take the bird. I'm going to slot in here, because it also makes our Wubber Tinger much, much faster as well. It's going to be targeting... Our Mana Thirst, our Cheese, our Deward Guardian, our Eye Lamp, and our Spike Staff here. That should be pretty good. Now we could also move it back a little bit, but I do want it to be targeting these items specifically. Now we do want to roll. That's some more blueberries. That's a lot of blueberries here. I do want to keep rolling because I do want to find a Prismatic Orb or more Mana Orbs. And we're going to roll on like this for right now. And we are after adding in another weapon, but we good old Wub Tinger and it's still this big old banana. We should be able to sustain our stamina. I say that, gonna begin a shield, could be problematic. Shields are gonna be a big, big counter to us, and our opponent is dealing a lot of damage to us. But can we bring it back? It's gonna be super close, but smashing her. Plus, she scale up our power here, our weapon damage is gonna be pretty good between all our weapons. Actually, we got ourselves that shiny ball. Now, we do really, really wanna slot in here, because it's gonna target lots of our magic items here. Problem now lies is that we kind of need our blueberries all in line like that. And that's not going to be super, super great for the speed of them here. However, now with the Prismatic Orb, we're going to have that ton of mana from the very beginning, meaning we are going to get our Empower 
super early. Which is going to increase the weapon damage by a lot here. I do want to continue to roll. At least the final round to craft. Otherwise, would reserve these and take these. The second one it is, Cap Discomfort would be fantastic. So I'm going to continue to roll. Keep it going. I will actually reserve Spike Color. We're going to be moving on. Because the longer we're in battle rage means the longer we have that damage mitigation, the longer we get that healing and mana skill. But we'll see. Right now we have pretty crazy amount of power. We are going to gain a flame up. They are going to be stacking up a lot of heat here. But so far, smashing here. This build is coming together quite nicely here. This build is definitely coming together quite nicely. So that, I'm going to be taking this by color. I'm going to roll here. We take a tiny little storage, we roll again. Now, Corruptor Crystal could have been awesome here. We could just take it to try and finish off our bond here. It is on sale, I'm going to grab it right now and it will roll. Alternatively, we could have taken we could have taken another eye lamp here. I, another eye lamp would be scaling more damage on another weapon. But we're not going to take it as right now. But yeah, we've all more gold and gonna roll. And there's the Hunger Blade. I would love to take this out of this in. Add in another bloody amulet too. But this is going to be our final setup. Now, the build would be a lot better if we had more prismatic orbs, more manators, would be crazy insane. But honestly, it hasn't been too bad whatsoever. Dear Red Guardian to be giving us a lot of sustain, a lot of healing, a lot of mana. Our spike staff to be scaling up in power for our manators to be dealing extra damage too. And with that, our dragon's glamours to keep us alive in battle rage. Also, the bird being kind of nicer to make our whole setup here move a little bit faster. But let's go and see, is this going to be enough here? We do have two lives, so we're going to be getting rank points no matter what. We are going to be getting Excalibur, each of leaf, a ranger. They're going to be getting a ton of buffs. So we'll see, can we actually outpace them here? So far they're dealing a massive, massive damage here, they're getting those big crits. We're answering back, and so far, smashing. But yeah, this build was a ton of fun, but before we move on, let's have a quick DPS check here. So our DPS actually wasn't too crazy insane. Wasn't too bad all the same, but the more mana stars we add in, the more damage we actually do. As long as we're able to sustain our stamina. I think we might have been able to fit in one more mana stars here. But let's go ahead and check our healing. Healing actually wasn't that great here. Block, not too bad. Our whole build definitely relied on the damage mitigation from the Dragon Scalambers and the Duffel back here. But anyways, we're going to leave it here for now. We did survive two lines left here. It did take a while to get this build online, but once we got it online, it turned out pretty good. But anyways, let's just see how much rank points we got. Should we take our points left? We got plus 11 and ranked this up quite a bit here. Not too bad, actually. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope you keep looking for the next one. See you next time.